Well, hello, and uh, welcome to this last devotional of this week. Uh, sorry, I'm getting it up a little bit late. Uh, we were recording uh, the worship service for Sunday this afternoon, and so I'm a little behind. Um, but today we're going to look at James 1, verses 16 through 18. It goes like this. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. And so just, um, there's a lot here, so much we can talk about. I'll just point out a couple things. Uh, the first one is this command to not be deceived. Don't be deceived, my beloved brothers. Uh, and specifically, don't be deceived about God's character. Um, and this connects to, I think, verse 13, which says, let no one be deceived, let, let no one say when he is tempted, I'm being tempted by God. And I, I think this, this is speaking to the fact that when we're going through trials, when we're going through suffering, when we're being tempted, um, and when we're having to be steadfast, it's in those hard circumstances when one of the particular temptations we can face is to doubt God's goodness or doubt God's care or doubt God's um, provision for us. And so we need to not be deceived about God's goodness. We need to remember that God is good. And how good? Well, James tells us every good thing you have and every perfect thing in the world is from above. It comes from God. So every good thing you have is from God. And so start listing all the good things you have, and that'll help you remember, oh, God's being very, very good to me. And and God compares um, God's goodness. He compares it to, in kind of the constancy of God's goodness, he compares it to some of the most constant things in the created world, the lights, stars and sun and the moon, which, you know, are there every night, every day the sun comes up, every day the sun goes across the sky and, and goes down. And James calls God the father of lights. He's far above, he's, he's the creator of the lights. Um, and he's different than the lights. So with God, there's no variation. The moon's not, you know, the moon's on this side of the sky one night and in a week it's on another side. It changes um, its shape as the weeks go by. Uh, the sun, it heats the earth every day, but but it changes its place in the sky. And there's shadows, right, that are caused by the variations in the changing of uh, the sun and the moon. But unlike those constant things, God's goodness, um, there is no variation and there's no shadow due to change. God is 100% good 100% of the time. And Psalm 145 verse 7 says, The Lord is righteous in all his ways and kind in all his works. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and kind in all his works. And I said this in a sermon uh, maybe a month or two ago, uh, a, a sentence that was really helpful to me during a time of suffering. And that's that you, you must believe about God in the dark, what you knew to be true of him in the light. It's essential that we hold on to and believe and trust in God's goodness. Um, and the other thing I want to point out in this passage is just the contrast between God's will and our desires, God's desires and our desires. So in, in uh, verse 14, Remember, it says that each person is tempted, not by God, but each person is tempted when we're lured and enticed by our own desires. Speaking of our sinful desires, that's what leads to um, sin. When our selfish desires, which occur at the level of the human will, right? When our, our selfish desires give birth, what do they give birth to? Well, they give birth to sin. And what does sin lead to? Well, sin brings forth death in verse 15. Well, in verse 18, um, James talks about how God's will is of of his own of his own will of God's will he brought us forth and and here by the word of truth here he's talking about um, the experience of being born again made alive um, so we're dead in our trespasses and sins and God in his mercy of his own will makes us alive he brings us forth he gives us new birth so our desires give birth to sin God's will gives birth to new life. Um, to a new heart, uh, to a new outlook on life, to eternal life, to birthing children into his uh, family, 
the family of God. And so he brings new creations, kind of the first fruits of his creation and new creation. He brings that, not death. That's what flows from God's heart and God's will. So uh, just to sum up, as we, as we remain steadfast by God's grace, let's not be deceived. Don't be deceived. Don't listen to the lies. Don't listen to um, the deceiver. Uh, don't be deceived. God is good. God gives good gifts. Every good thing in this world is from him. Even, to, even good, good things that people don't acknowledge. Even good things that people, good things that people do who don't love God. Those good things are a gift of God's grace. He gives salvation. He gives new life. And he does all of that through his word of truth. And so let's stay in his word uh, and let's spread his word so that we'll see him bring forth more and more people into his kingdom. All right, a couple words. Uh, I'm taking the weekend off uh, of these devotions. I'll finish uh, James next week and then we'll see what happens to the day the devotionals after we finish. I won't finish James. I'll finish James chapter one and then we'll see where we go from there. I'm praying about that. Uh, join us for the Sunday service on Sunday morning. Um, I think you'll be encouraged. And uh, let's continue to pray for each other, reach out to each other, care for each other. And uh, I'll see you soon.